Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this is a little different for me to be doing, but I talked about this in one of my videos and mentioned that I would show you guys this. So I figured let's just kind of do like a get ready with me um, slash like test out type of thing. If you watched my video yesterday, I did also do like a haul or unboxing of the HP Sprocket. So it just seems like one of those weeks. So anyway, I have the uh, Revlon um, one step hair dryer and vol volumizer. And I recently, recently um, cut my hair. So now I have layers and it's shorter. So this is kind of um, going along with that. I felt like if I ever want to just wash my hair in the morning instead of at night, that I could quickly blow dry it and have it ready to go. Um, my hair is thick and my hair is very like frizzy and wavy and just not not the greatest. It doesn't dry straight at all and that's kind of a bummer because then I'm constantly straightening it or curling it. I'm always using heat and so I felt like this would be a good alternative and hopefully I can blow dry it and not have to also straighten it. But we're gonna try it out. So my hair is a little bit drier. It's on the drier side. Um, this is kind of what it looks like when I, it's still wet, but this is kind of what it, how it dries. It's just, again, frizzy and kind of all over the place. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray my hair. I recently, when I got my hair cut, got this Keratin Complex um, spray, and it's supposed to be really good for frizzy hair. And it's supposed to be also a um, a heat protectant or whatever. So I'm going to spray it on my hair. You're supposed to um, shake it beforehand. And then it's 1047 right now. And I'm going to time it and see how long it takes. Because, again, this is partially dry. So it's not going to be like going from completely wet. But I think this is normally how I would do it. I would wait a while to actually... I wouldn't do it from like completely wet hair because that just doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. So I'm just spraying it like in the different layers here. Just trying to get some good coverage. And I have to say this spray stuff smells so good. Every time I use this, my hair smells good for like days, even with straightening it. So, okay. So that is in... And then I'm just going to go ahead and brush it in. I'm not a hair person or like a makeup person at all, but I just figured I'd try this with you guys because if I can do it and it can look okay. So if I can do it and make my hair look good, then you guys definitely can do it. So, um, like I said, I'm going to try it out now with you guys and kind of time how long it takes. Again, my hair is partially dry, so it should take a little bit less time. And this is what it looks like. So last time I used it, there's a couple different settings. You have off, cool, low, and high. Last time I used the low sec setting, um, and this is kind of what it looks like. It's pretty big and everything, but like a lot of people say when they use this, it's nice that instead of having to have a blow dryer and a um, round brush in your hand, you have one thing. So it's a little bit easier, but it is heavy, so my hand does get pretty tired after a while. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair off and then start it. I'm going to set a timer or like a, um, a stopwatch or something just to see how long it takes because I do want to let you guys know how long it takes for me. And then I will have this link down below. Um, you can get it off of Target, Amazon, whatever, but I'll have it linked on Amazon if you guys want to check it out. So let's go ahead and get started.
have it for 13 minutes total. My hair is completely dry and it is styled and cute and flipped out. I like this look a lot better. I'll add some hairspray and like maybe some product to get the a little bit less frizz, but I just love how it curls. It can like curl your hair as it dries. It makes it super shiny and it's easy. Like it took 13 minutes. That's all I had to do was like take a shower this morning, let it dry a little bit by itself. And then 13 minutes later, super, super easy. And I, with Macy, I had my hair long when I had her and it was such a pain like trying to straighten it it took forever so I wanted a simpler way when the baby comes to just be able to like take a shower that day and be ready pretty soon and I feel like this is definitely the way I really like it so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me try this out you guys want to pick it up again I will have it linked down below it's definitely really nice for shorter hair I can't say anything about longer hair but I just love it with my layers how it kind of has them stand out a little bit more and then um if you do have like more frizzy hair like me right now my hair is completely fine I think that spray stuff really makes a big difference with the frizz but if you do ever feel like you have some flyaways and that you want to make it a little bit less um frizzy you could always take you know your um flat iron or straightener and just calm it down a little bit but I think this is actually good for today I don't think I need to do it today which is great especially because today is a rainy day so I don't want to I don't want to do any of that if I'm going to be going outside and it's going to get wet again anyway so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me try this out again if you want to check it out um, or get it for yourself I will have it linked down below it does get heavy after a while but I think I think you'll get used to it and it really is only when I'm doing it in the back and stuff that it really hurts my arm. But anyway, I'm really happy with it. I think it's really cute. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.